Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Eden's Fun Crochet. I'm Eden, and this is the podcast where we talk about everything crochet and craft related, but mostly crochet. I'm excited because I have only been working on a couple of projects, but I have made a lot of progress. So let's get started. Um,. I guess I'll start with my one finished object, which is probably no surprise because last time I only had half a sleeve left. But I have finished this cropped sweater. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you can see all of it. Um, it's just red heart, acrylic yarn, um, no pattern. Because I, I mean, I talked about it more last time, but, um, yeah, I just had the one sleeve left, and so I finished it, um, I think this is going to be one that I'm going to sell, though. Um, I have put up a few items that, um, that I talked about on the podcast before, but I have a few items up on my Etsy shop, so I'll put that link in the description box below so that you can go check out my Etsy. I do have two separate Etsys. I have one where I sell crochet things, and then I have one where I sell yarn that I dye. Um, I don't really talk a lot about my yarn on the podcast because this is more of my, like, crochet corner. Um, but I do have, I'll link both of those Etsys in the description box so that you can support me if you want to. You don't have to, but it's there if you want to. Um, I did end up doing some frogging, um, if, so I'm going to be talking a lot about the last episode, so if you haven't seen that one, go watch that one first, and then watch this one. So I did frog the pillowcase, like I took it all apart, um, and then I frogged the flower mandala square thing. Um, I haven't frogged the shorts yet, but I think I am going to frog the shorts because I really want to make a dress out of it for my baby, and there's not enough for both, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, I guess I could always just dye more, but that's dyed on cotton, and I don't have cotton, so I have to go buy cotton, but I don't know. That's... Still deciding whether or not it's going to be frogged or not. Okay, so whips. I've never actually showed this on the podcast because... Last time, it was just... I forgot to bring it in. And then the time before that, I don't think it was even started. It was still just an idea. I have talked about it a while ago. I don't even remember what episode it was. It was probably... Like a year ago. I bought the yarn for it. And I think I talked about it then. But um, the yarn has just been sitting in here forever. Because I wanted to make a tutorial. And so I never. Um, got around to crocheting it. Because I was always waiting to record. And then I just never recorded. So this is. What I have so far, it's super colorful, and sorry the lighting is like turned orange. And so it makes the whole thing look kind of orange, but I have like pinks and blues and orange and yellows, and um, it's super colorful. I kind of have like um, each repeat. So as you can see, it goes like yellow, orange, pink, orange, yellow, and then it starts the new like color section with the next repeat so it's like green pink orange pink green and then that pattern that color pattern is over and then it starts the next um and so that will have a tutorial obviously i'm not very far so it'll be a while before the tutorial i'm trying to make it a king size blanket to fit our bed i got the color ideas and kind of like what i'm going for is based off of my childhood blanket that doesn't fit on our king size bed and so I kind of wanted something that was like homey for me but like 
could actually fit our bed. So that's what this is. It's going to be a huge blanket. And I'm going to do tassel ends so I have all my ends hanging out on the side um, so that they can become part of the tassels, which I really appreciate because I have so many color. Like, I think that's why I decided to do the tassels is because I'm changing colors so often, like every row. And so... There's just so many ends to deal with, and so I'm just making them into tassels so I don't really have to deal with them. Um, luckily, it goes with the aesthetic of the blanket that I'm going for. Um, if it was, like, because it's supposed to be kind of, like, happy and kind of childish in a way, and so if you were going for something more classy, maybe I wouldn't do that, but, like, put tassels on it. But for this project, it's working out really well, so that's what... I have so far, oh yeah, I was going to tell you the progress I made. Since last podcast, I haven't done a lot. It's only been like, maybe like this much or this much. I got a lot done when I was videoing, and then I've just kind of tapered off. So I've only done a few rows, but this one um, is just kind of like my around the house one not my because I have a movie project and then I have a car project and usually I have a Sunday project which hasn't really been a thing right now um I'll talk about that in a second and then I have this one that just kind of hangs out so that's why this one doesn't have a lot of progress on it right now but let me show you one that does have a lot of progress so I shared this last time <clears throat> I have this. It didn't even, the funny part is, it didn't even start out as a blanket. It started out as a kimono that I was going to do, like, the back panel and then the two front panels. And, like, it has the vertical stripes instead of the horizontal stripes. So it's supposed to be, like, this way. But then... It was too big, and the person I was making it for, and anyway. It was a perfect storm, never ended up happening, but I liked it, and I liked the color palette, like the colors that I chose. So I kept working on it, and I was like, I'll just turn it into a blanket. And then, when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, if it's a girl, I'll just work on this blanket, and if it's a boy, then I'll have to start a new one. But this would be perfect for a girl, especially since I've always wanted, like, my girl colors to be purple and yellow, not pink <laughs> and so we're gonna paint the room yellow and then like all of the other stuff is gonna be purple which I'm really excited for <sighs> little stress that the room still doesn't really have walls on it but hopefully that will get done soon because I'm five and a half months pregnant so the baby could literally come at any time I mean it's very unlikely that she'll come this early but it's possible and that's what I'm worried about is that we don't even have a car seat yet anyway enough about my worldly problems <laughs> let's talk about this project so I pulled it out and I got out a hook because I didn't have a hook with it and I didn't have it written down what hook size I had with it and so I pulled out my hooks and I tried figuring out and I think it was my yarn that was the issue but it kept like waving like it was this yarn and you can see maybe you can see how it kind of like has a wave to it like it looks like it's using the wrong hook size and I think the problem was my yarn not my hook but then I tried going down a size and I tried using other yarn but then that yarn is a lot smaller instead of a lot bigger and I was just having issues with it, and I was like, I don't know, I don't want to, like, get super far with, like, I don't want to be like, I'm just going to choose one, and then get a certain way and realize that it's ugly, and I didn't want to, like, ruin it, and I have, like, a pretty decent amount done, like, so far, since I have picked, like, this was before I picked it up, and so I decided what I was going to do was that I was going to just choose a hook size, but instead of continuing with these stitches, I was going to make, so if this was horizontal, if these stripes are horizontal, I was going to make vertical stripes, 
and just make it the length of this so I go off measurements instead of stitches and then so half the blanket is um, horizontal and then the other half is vertical so I've been working on the other half I guess the vertical in this scenario um, so last podcast I was I didn't show it I mean I showed the this one but not the new one and I had just this purple section done like this was all I had when I recorded last <laughs> so I have this section and I have done all of this since then so I mean it's not as long as this one is but like maybe I'll lay it out and take a picture and insert the picture um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm about halfway, a little more than halfway, um, and what I need to do. So that is what I have so far. Um, so this has been the project I've been working on the most. It's my car project, which is kind of funny that it's been worked on this much. Um, because Tyler and I, we drive back, it's like a 15 minute drive from school. And we both work at the school so anytime we go to work we drive just like 15 minutes and um, he does a lot of performances and stuff so we'll drive there too and so we'll drive back and forth maybe three or four times a day um, but also because he does a lot of performances and if I'm not doing anything or if I get done with work before he does I'll go hang out with him and because this project is sitting in the car, I'll take it into the concert hall with me and I'll just crochet it, crochet on it while I'm either waiting for him to be done with work or while he's performing because he works in the concert hall. And so he like, he'll perform and I'll just crochet or like he'll be doing tech stuff and I'll just be crocheting sitting next to him. So that's why this one has gotten so much love is because it lives in the car and so it's also my like sitting in an audience project you know like when I don't when I go somewhere and I need to wait or you know like sit in line or whatever like that's that project so that is why it has gotten the most love I'll just fold that later um and then my movie project it doesn't, like, if you look at the rows, <laughs> it doesn't look like I've gotten a lot done. But the rows take forever. And, um, right now, so this is one, one skein is 153 yards. So it's 85 grams. Gives me about three rows. <laughs> so let me show you. So I'm making a skirt. This yarn is called I Love This Cotton. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I love the colors. This was one of the projects. I try not to do this very often. I try to only buy yarn for the project. But this was one of those times when I saw the yarn and then came up with the project after I bought it. And I bought all seven skeins that were in the store. And then I started making the skirt and then I went back and bought more next time we were there but anyway so this is what i have so far um i've only let's see where is my progress keeper i have i have a ton of safety pins for every time i like um increase <laughs> so there's so many of them um and i also have a safety pin thing where i left off maybe okay here it is so I have this little hat it's just a little hat that's my little progress keeper um so it's not a lot I've only done one two three four five six rows but one row is like, like here, if we can show it this way like it's so this is folded in half and it's like all 
of this. So I've just been working on like the double crochet, um, none of the fancy pattern or anything. It's just been double crochet. Um, it doesn't have a pattern. Um, I've just been doing things. I decided that I don't want to continue the skirt until I'm done with the top so that I can gauge like how long I want to make it and like what, how it's going to fit on my body better. Because it's going to be a dress, this is just the skirt part of the dress. So I want to make the top and then I'll finish the bottom. But I don't want to work on the top until I'm not pregnant anymore because I want it to be like a nice fitting top. And I am five months pregnant so it would not fit me very well when I finish. <laughs> so this project, even though it has gotten a lot of love, is going to be put on the back burner for a few months um just so that it will fit me when I'm done with it because I love it so much and it's become like it's just such a wonderful project and I love the colors and I love the way it looks and I want it to be something that I'll actually wear um and so it's gonna be put to the side for now so I'll probably just be working on the two projects until school is over and then I'll get more into the pile and figure out um, what I'm going to do with all of them. Um, I have, it was so funny, for the my finished object for the heart sweater, I had half a sleeve left and I was going to take it to church with me and finish it at church. And I did take it with me, but the only problem was I forgot that I ran out of the black yarn. That's why I had stopped the sleeve and I didn't pick up anymore so I didn't have any black yarn and so it just kind of sat there for a while so I don't even remember what I had taken to church with me if it was like scrunchies or something um so that hadn't been that was actually a really recent finished project even though it's been several weeks and I only had half a sleeve left I finally finished it um I don't have any other works in progress right now. I don't have, like, a lot of big, like, I don't have a lot of, most of the pile are smaller projects or big blankets. And so it's just kind of like either I have to put a lot of time and focus into it or it's really just back and forth. And these projects are kind of just back and forth. And so I'll probably just work on, my colorful blanket for the tutorial, and then my baby blanket for my girl, and then I want to get to this stuff, um, but with finals coming up and everything, the pile probably won't be worked on much. Um, this is a much shorter episode than last time, because last time I went into great detail about how stressed I am, um, from crochet, but I've done a lot, I've done a lot of frogging, and I've done a lot of, I guess you could say meditation about it, and like, just being okay with the fact that some projects sit around, because they need to, like this dress will need to sit around for a while, and I have some that are like, specifically holiday projects, or you know, like, um, but... I do have things I want to get rid of that I want to finish that I want to sell. Um, I will be adding more things. I'm going to do a photo shoot, I guess, sometime in the next week and get more um, things up on my Etsy. This will be one of them. Um, I will put up, I only have three things right now and I have three or four more things that I want to add. Um, but I don't have pictures for, because the ones that I have put up were ones that I took pictures for when I finished the object, um, just for my Etsy, not my Etsy, my Instagram and random things, so I have those up on my Etsy with pictures, but some of them I don't have pictures for, so I need to take pictures, but between, like, I need a photographer. My husband is my photographer most of the time, um, but he's super crazy busy right now because... He has a bunch of concerts going on, and then 
he has to work all the concerts for all the concerts he's not in. And so he's always crazy busy. And so between the two of our schedule, we haven't gotten to take photos yet, but we will get to it hopefully before the next podcast is uploaded. Um, but I'm just really excited about how much progress I made on that baby blanket because it is a lot. Um, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye.